Audible is making summer a little bit sweeter for Amazon Prime members. For a limited time, you can join for just $4.95 a month for your first three months and enjoy the stories you love outdoors. Use the Audible app and sit poolside with J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone or hit the beach with Stephen King's The Outsider. You'll get one credit a month good for any audiobook. Exchange any you don't like. Summer is the perfect time for this Prime member offer. Get it now at audible.com slash prime. Blog Talk Radio. You follow mama's rules Gotta be a good little girl Once you hit 18 The light turns green Wanna get wild on the world Her and her friends are getting mad Got their own party pad Everybody's saying hell yeah Come on, come on, it's on It's off the chain Crazy is working. I'm your host, Yvonne Mason. And again, my guest did not call in. I I don't know. I don't know if I pissed people off or what, but I was using another service and I don't know what happened. Last night, the guy didn't call in because he said his daughter got sick. Tonight, I don't know what happened to my guest. She would have been an interesting guest too, by the way, but we're going to um, just soldier on, hopefully, and maybe we'll get some people to call in and and talk to us tonight. 
And I need to also see if my soundboard is working because um, I've been messing around with it. And I, I, I don't know if it's working or not. We might not even be on the air. You know how that goes. But I want to welcome each and every one of you to the show tonight. And um, this is Off the Chain. I'm your host, Yvonne Mason. And apparently it is working because I just called in and I can hear it on my phone. Let's just see. Hold on a minute. Who knows? Seems to be working. So we will just see if... um, if you guys call in and talk to me, if it's working, you can hear me and I can hear you and we'll we'll move on from there. But anyway, welcome to the show tonight. Um, I just lost my train of thought. That that was that was my theme song off the chain. I love the guy that sings it. He is absolutely amazing. But as I was even with all the screw ups with people not coming in on the show like they're supposed to, we have reached, ladies and gentlemen. We're headed towards 130,000 listeners on this show. I want to thank everybody. I mean, everybody, listener, guest, everybody for supporting this show. Without all of y'all, it wouldn't be a show because it's not my show. It's your show. Now, for those of y'all that are wondering, um, yes, you can come on the show. Whether as a guest or as a sponsor, I can get you on the show. It's not a problem. But I only have a couple of more slots. Unless I have some more episodes like tonight, then I'll have open slots. Of course, I don't always know until um, it's time for the show whether or not people are going to come in. So, but contact me. Uh, Ronnie Allen said she wants to come on. I'm going to tell her to come on in. And call in, and we'll we'll just chat with Miss Ronnie. But anyway, the two ways to get on the show: one, as a guest, and two, as a sponsor. Now, if you want to come on as a sponsor, all you have to do is send me your ad as an MP3 or as a written ad, and I will um, I'll get you on here. Ten dollars for thirty days, and and whether I have ten shows or thirty shows, you're still going to get the thirty days. If I have to cancel the show for whatever reason, because y'all all know my husband is ill, the ad goes with the show. So it's not like you're going to lose a day. I'm not in it to make money, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in it to help you all succeed. That is very important to me. I want you all to succeed. Um, Ronnie is calling now. I can't wait to see what Miss Ronnie's got going on. That will be so much fun. But anyway, contact me at off the chain radio at yahoo.com and I'll I'll get you set up as a sponsor. And I want to say thank you to the sponsors that I do have. They have been so patient and so kind and so grateful and so graceful with me and I appreciate it so so much. Um one of the, the people that is running ads with me now. She's been on the show a couple of times. And, and Australia, thank you, because you all are the ones that made her number one in Australia. Diane Moat. She has a series called the Sam Holden Series. And she has just released the third book. And Sam Holden is back. She is our favorite vigilante, and she is back. And the third book, called Dog Bones, Sam's Quest, to avenge abused animals is threatened when the FBI comes after her on one side and the commissioner wants her dead on the other side. Will her double life be exposed? Will Sam be able to protect the animals, her friends, and herself? Check out Dog Bones by Diane Moat everywhere ebooks are sold. And if you haven't started the series yet, ladies and gentlemen, start out with Dog Gone and then go to Dog Fight. Second sponsor that is absolutely amazing he also has been on the show his name is john isaac jones and he writes a book of short stories only available on kindle called alabama stories and the neat thing about these stories is they are written through the perspective of a 12 year old boy so in rural alabama and in the late 50s early 60s and i mean rural alabama So check out John Isaac Jones' Alabama Stories. It's fun, entertaining, and educational. Another young woman has been on our show. I absolutely adore her. 
J. Traveler Pelton. She has a trilogy called the Oberlin Trilogy. And the first book in the trilogy is The Infant Conspiracy. It goes kind of like this. In 2018, the Oberlins are a shadow family, and the parents, Noel and Violet, along with their children, are very close-knit. You see, they all work in the same family firm. The children are supposed to take over the firm after the brothers return from their hitch with Uncle Sam, but so the parents can retire. Hmm. But things kind of go south real fast when a savage virus is turned loose on an unsuspecting public. Join the Oberlins as they set out to make the world a safer place. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, you know I can always count on my tribe to step in and help a girl out. I put the call out. It's going to be an open mic night because this wonderful lady did not call in like she was supposed to. Had information and everything, but who knows? Maybe she got hit by a bus. I don't know. So we just sold your own. Author Ronnie Allen has joined us, and I am tickled to death, and I can hear her through my soundboard, so that tells me it's probably working. Hey, Ronnie, how are you, my darling? I am doing absolutely wonderful. How are you, Yvonne? I am wonderful. What in the world have you been up to? Oh, my goodness. A lot. (laughs) Oh, well, do tell. Inquiring minds need to know. Well, something wonderful is absolutely happening with my writer's chapter. If I can give a plug for that, I would love it. Absolutely. What's going on? Well, as I told you the last time, I'm president of Sunshine State Romance Authors, and we are having a wonderful event coming up September 22nd. And it's going to be in the gorgeous Citrus Hills Golf and Country Club. We are having, drum roll please, Angela James, wow. Angela James of Karina Press. And she is coming down to do a full day workshop on what publishers want. And then she's doing cold reads of the first two pages of a pre-published author's manuscript. So wow. how exciting is that? Absolutely. Ooh, we have another caller, too. Let's see. Boy, we, see, the tribe is just jumping in there. Let's get this caller on in there. We'll, we'll continue with you a minute. Now, so what the caller's doing? Hold on a minute. I am here. Hi, this is Yvonne. Who is this? Hello. Hey. You ring me? I did. <laughs> Yeah, Ronnie, this is my friend Christopher Plain. He's also known as the Music God, and he always helps out. See my tribe, ladies and gentlemen. I love my tribe. Chris, Ronnie. Chris, Chris, this is Ronnie Allen. She's one of my she's she's one of my tribe. She's a wonderful, wonderful author. Awesome. Hi, Chris. Yeah. How are you? I am good. Just putting the finishing touches on my show for tomorrow. Yeah. Are you what for tomorrow? Just putting the finishing touches on the playlist for the show tomorrow. Oh, the yeah, playlist he has, for show. How nice. Yeah, he has a radio show on Sundays called, called Six Ways to Sunday. And right. He, he interviews people as well as plays on Sunday. He plays uh, country and Americana and sometimes a little bit of rock and roll. So, See, I got both ends of the spectrum. Y'all are the best. My soundboard is working. I love it when this happens. Okay, Chris, before we get to you, Ronnie, finish telling me what brought this on with this workshop you guys are doing. Well, we took over um, myself and my board, and I have a fabulous board of ladies who are so wonderful and so motivated and dedicated to making our chapter shine, and we've worked so hard trying to do innovative things, and our mission is to educate writers throughout the county and beyond, and we're doing that through providing enriched workshops, and this is a workshop. It's $45 for non-members of Sunshine State Romance Authors, and your listeners can find the information on our website, 
Sunshine State Romance Authors dot com on our Facebook page, Sunshine State Romance Authors, and they can pay right through the site. Uh, again, it's September twenty second. We are having a breakfast, a three course luncheon, wow. prizes, swag. Um, it's going to be an absolutely amazing day. So if there are writers who want to become published, this is the place that you'd want to be. And for travelers, it's in Citrus County, Florida. We're in Hernando. It's about 90 miles north of Tampa, um, about 35 miles southeast, uh, southwest of Ocala. So we also reserved a suite of rooms, and we got a fabulous room rate at the Quality Inn, which is in Hernando. So we have all our bases covered if people want to travel, you know, for this event. So I know your listeners stretch out all across, and if they fly, they'd be coming into Tampa. And this is the perfect time of year to come because it's nice and humid and hot and fun. And the room rates are good. The room rate is excellent, and we have it reserved under Sunshine State Romance Authors, and the snowbirds aren't back yet. So we have the opportunity to get that lower room rate. And And the Quality Inn has a full breakfast, too, which is really exciting. And and if they want to stay a few more days, if they can go over to Tampa and go to the ocean or go to some of the islands over there and just make a couple of weeks of vacation out of it. Absolutely. And we have in Homosassa the Homosassa State Park Wildlife uh, Park, which uh, is an amazing place to go and see all the Florida wildlife. It's absolutely. really beautiful. And it's old Florida, too. You you get the sense of what Florida used to be like when you go to that state park. Yes, and we have the manatees, so people can see them up close in Crystal River. There's a lot of natural things to see here. And what, what, what people might not know, ladies and gentlemen, is you can swim with the manatees in Crystal River. Yes. It, it's an amazing experience, and and the manatees are called the ocean's gentle giants because that's what they are. They are the most docile, sweetest creatures that are in the ocean. They're very docile. They're very loving. They're very um, pleasurable to be around mm-hmm. because they they're calming. Very. Very calming. In fact, they had a new resident there. Her name is Betsy, and she's 2,400 pounds. Oh, my word. So tell me what new books you've got coming out, my dear. Well, I found out Libra, book four in the Sign Behind the Crime series, is coming out in February. Well done. So that's very exciting. And right now, Barnes & Nobles has 10% off until tomorrow um, for your total order. So it's a perfect time for people to catch up on the first three books, Gemini, Scorpio, and Aries. And what a lot of people don't know about you is not only are you a fantastic author and just an all-around wonderful person who I absolutely adore. Thank you. You you are welcome. You also have another business that I have been following. Tell us about it. Yes, we've never talked about it perfect time, so tell the folks about it. Well, it's in health and wellness, and what the premise is, Activating your cells to produce antioxidants so that your body can heal. And then the supplements also work on the mitochondrial production in the body. And oxidative stress, 
is the root cause of over 200 illnesses. And people have seen my charts on Facebook. And the oxidative stress is basically the rust in our body. And as we get older, the rust, <clears throat> the rust affects us very badly with a lot of different conditions. And even though we're, you know, we're not making any medical claims, I'm not an MD, um, where we say the products do not mitigate, heal, treat any illness whatsoever, what it does is nourish your cells and activate your cells so that they become healthy. And it's called Nerf 2 Technology. Um, it's an awesome uh, company, an awesome product. People could message me privately to talk about it. We have 11 patents, 24 peer-reviewed studies from the major universities, um, John Kionis did an ABC primetime um, special on it, and um, the research is so credible and so there. We're helping so many people with their health. And I believe I told you in 2005, a doctor told me I'd be in a wheelchair by 2007 if I didn't have hip replacement surgery. Yes, ma'am. I did tell you that. Well, yes, the only thing that happened was that I threw away the cane in 2007, and to <laughs> date, I still haven't had the surgery. Now, I'm on this regimen five months, and last month, people are saying to me, what's happening to your walking? I don't have a limp anymore. My walking and my running around is as if my hip has the, so much of the cells in my hip have gotten healthier, that people are astounded. I mean, the results are visible. And we can legally say that this product reduces oxidative stress in 30 days by 40%. It increases lifespan by 7%. And this is all documented, so I can legally say that. And so I'm 70 now, so I'll take 7%. <laughs> and, Chris, I'm going to tell you, this woman does not look 70 years old. She looks younger mm. than I do, and I'm 67. She looks like she's mid-50s. Thank you. Someone else told me that, too. They couldn't believe it. But I work at it. You know, it's uh... – <coughs> Well, it's just, but it's just thank you. You are well, Ronnie. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, y'all just have to go to her Facebook page. This is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. Oh, she's thank absolutely you so much. gorgeous, and she eats right, she lives right, she, she writes, and any stress she has, she throws in the garbage because she is amazing, an absolutely amazing woman. Thank you. Now, Christopher, let's talk yes. about tomorrow a few minutes. You are okay. going to do your show, right? I, I am. This is probably going to be my final one for a few weeks, you know, during the move. So we're uh, kind of going out on a big happy note, per se, I guess, for a while. Well, you can't be off the air too long. No, it's just just uh, it just be a couple of weeks while we move, transition to the new house, get the internet set up, all that kind of fun stuff, you know, to where I can operate again. And uh, yeah. if it ends up being longer than that, then I'm just going to start actually pre-recording shows for them to load in there and play on Sundays. So um, you won't even really know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> But well, for, for the folks that have, for the folks that have been living under a rock that don't know about your show, tell them what your show's about and tell them where they can find it. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this man knows absolutely everything there is to know about me. I've never, I've listened to music all of my life, and I feel like an ignorant idiot next to him. 
because he is so knowledgeable about music, musicians, genres, you name it, even uh, agents and and um, promoters and you're scary smart. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but um, <laughs> the show that's on show that's on tomorrow with Six Ways to Sunday uh, gets its name from a Blackberry Smoke song. Um, basically, I used it because there's six kinds of music that are featured which are country and Americana, Southern rock and blues, folk and bluegrass. So rootsy music, basically. Um, you know, a lot of the, what you would call the, I guess the hillbilly styles of music, if you will, um, or the redneck styles of music, for lack of a better term. Uh, so uh, tomorrow's show, the featured artist is going to be Matt Weston, who you've heard on Yvonne's show in the past. And, uh, Got an interview with him, and all the songs are going to be quote unquote drinking songs or songs about drinking or bar songs, I guess, if you want to call them that, or honky tonk songs. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a, a fun playlist about, you know, uh, beer and drinking and, and smoking, drinking, and gambling and days of wine and roses and. Uh, if heaven is dry, I don't want to go. Stuff like that. Um, <laughs> so. Well, and since since you brought Matt Weston up, shall we just give them? And and Ronnie, I'm glad you're here so you can hear this. Shall we give them a taste of Matt Weston? Absolutely. If you have something handy, you can. Oh, honey, hush your mouth. Hold on, oh, <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Chris, where are you located? through that door Cause I saw a look right there that I never seen before Whatever I did this time must have been pretty bad Cause when I said we're done Well she said I'm glad Then she put a key mark right down the side of my truck Put a dent right in the door There has to be a law somewhere that the abuse on a four by four That Chevrolet never did nothing to you Why don't you take it out on me? On second thought, I'm gone To a place where I can be Living it up with the neon lights And the music turned up loud A cover band cranking out a country tune With a getting loud rally crowd All I need is a few good butters and a beer With all due respect, honey, you can kiss my ass Living it up with the neon lights and the music turned up loud A cover band breaking out a country tune with a kid loud rally crowd All I need is a few good butters and a beer and I'll be feeling fine Cause there ain't no us in together, but there's a me in good time Yeah. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that was Matt Weston. That is the, wow. the young, isn't he amazing, Ronnie? Yes, so I love country. Well, when I interviewed this young man on my show, and, and Chris was co-host that night, we played three of his songs. And, and I, I saw today, Chris, where he was interviewed on a real quick show. It must have been five or ten minutes, but they called him the next Johnny Cash. I'm going to say not so much. This young man is beyond Johnny Cash. Ronnie, what's your take? You just heard him. I heard him actually for the first time. But I think it, it sounded very familiar to me. I even see him as a Willie Nelson. Yeah. There you go. There you go. What do you think, Christopher? I, I personally, I think I'd put him more in the, in the Hank Jr. Ca- category. Mm-hmm. But, you know, he's, he's, he's a bit more, again, for lack of a better word, he's a bit more redneck than Willie and Johnny were. Um you know, and, and and I don't mean that in a bad way, but he's he's very his country roots show where you know, Johnny and Willie were or are, were and are pure songwriters. And Matt is as well, but Matt has a, a bit more fun, I guess, in his songs than uh Willie and Johnny do. I mean, Johnny and Willie maybe got a little more serious in some songs. Where Matt is more mm-hmm. fun loving and and uh, that song, more of a good, that, great type. That song makes me want to get up on on the on the bar and dance. Yeah, it's a honky tonk song, and that's what yeah. that's what I mean by the the Hank Junior sound is. You know, he he's somebody you would hear in a honky tonk on a Friday night. You know, he's he's up there with the you know the Alan Jacksons and the Toby Keiths and the, and the George Straits and the Kevin Fowler. Just having fun. The, Just having fun. Yeah. You know, yeah, he he ain't you know he ain't there to preach to you. He's just there to to make sure you laugh and have a good time with your buddies, you know. Um, and Ronnie, the night I I interviewed this young man, he was so humble, and he has such an old soul, but he has such a mm-hmm. sweet personality. I just wanted to crawl through the microphone and hug his neck. Ah, well, <laughs> the fun that he's having comes through. Yes. Yeah. Exactly, and he is an indie artist. He's his uh, his uh, promoter, Max Stover. Mark, St- I can't talk tonight, y'all. Mark Stover connected us. Matt. Uh, and Matt Stover, yeah, thank you. See, I told you I can't talk. <laughs> Matt, Matt Stover <laughs> connected us, and um, him and several other artists, and then I hooked Chris up with them so that he could get their music and get them exposed out there. Because indie artists like indie authors have a hard time getting their music out there because their big six, like our big six, tell us what we can hear and what we can read. And they don't meet the criteria of what's out there that we're supposed to hear. So we just said, watch this. <laughs> yeah. Literally hold my beer and watch this. Is basically <laughs> yeah. When you're motivated and you don't give up, you can accomplish whatever you want. Amen. Amen. Now, I, on that same vein, Ronnie, on that same vein, I don't know if you know, but I started writing for Unique Magazine that my friend Mary Brotherton uh, founded and, and has out there. And, and mm-hmm. I sent in some articles, and she said, Yvonne, is there a link that we can put up that would feed it back to a video? And I said, well, no, but I'll make some. So I made one yesterday and sent it to her. And then last night I got to thinking about picking our teammates. And that was one of the articles I wrote. And I'm thinking without a tribe, such as part of my tribe tonight, without a tribe and without a support system, we're like an island with no inhabitants. We're just waiting for the tsunami to come bowl us over and make us gone forever. So I did that video today, and I yes, was not. And I, go ahead. Yes, I saw it. You tagged me in it. Yes. Well, because it's important for us to have a tribe. Not a, 
my success is not in dollars. My success is things like tonight when you and Chris bail me out because the Naked Life Coach, Nadine Sablowski, decides not to call in. Aw. Well, things happen <laughs> for a reason. So it was very productive for us and for my chapter tonight, which is exactly. awesome. And I'm very happy about that. Exactly. So, and it, and it gave Matt another platform. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm saying is people, some people measure their success by how rich they are in dollars and cents. I measure how rich I am and how successful by I am by things like tonight that happened. This is two nights in a row that Chris called in. Last night, Blog Talk Radio had a brain fart, and him and Julie called in because the other guy that was supposed to call in, he was off on something with his daughter who was the sick or, or got hurt or something oh. and she didn't call in but this is what happened this is my success this is our success this is better than dollars and cents Chris don't you think oh absolutely for sure I mean it's, it's, it's great having people you can depend on I mean that's the best kind of success and knowing that there's people that are listening and care Go ahead, and it was so meant to be that I happened to be on Facebook at the time your post hit my feed. <laughs> <laughs> See, ladies and gentlemen, it, 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 when I put things out in the universe, people laugh at me. But when I throw things out in the universe, things happen. Right. And And people respond. And it's because... I am happy for them. I want them to, they succeed and, and I succeed. That's how successful I am because Ronnie's succeeding with her secondary business. She's got this nice lady coming down that's going to hold this workshop for her writer's group. She's a very successful author. I mean, this woman can do some serious, serious writing. She ain't no slouch. And my friend Christopher, He's getting all these wonderful indie artists from Matt Stover that he can promote and help them grow. And it's like this huge ball of twine that just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Would that be a fair statement, guys? Absolutely. Yeah. Even Zig Ziglar says that when you help people succeed, you succeed. Amen. Now we're going to take a real quick break and pay some bills. Hold on, folks. This is Off the Chain. I'm your host, Yvonne Mason, with my wonderful tribe, music guide Christopher Plain with Six Ways to Sunday, and author and person extraordinary Ronnie Allen. So we'll be right back. Horses See Ghosts, a new poetry book by Gannot Wise. It's been called Poetry for the Rest of Us. Amazon. And do you have cougars on your porch swing? A horse is your new best friend. Do your nicest shoes get buried knee deep in snow as your toes turn blue? Are you bothered by wolves at your woodpile? No, not that kind of wolf. Join wildlife artist and author Nancy Quinn and her family as they discover an exciting new life in Go West, Young Woman. A True Montana Adventure, available online and in bookstores. Or visit quinnwildlifeart.com for a personalized signed copy. Critics agree, it's a hoot. A struggling city, its beloved baseball team, an antique camera, and photos from that camera that bear an image from the pit of hell an entity only a select few can see. Journalism professor Buddy Cullen is determined to track this demon down. But who is the hunter and who is the prey? And who will be the next target of mankind's mortal foe? Mortal Foe, available at Amazon.com. Hi, this is Winona and Jade inviting you to join us and our wonderful guests on the And I Thought Women's Cave podcast on Blog Talk Radio to learn more about our books, the And I Thought series, and the Misfit. 
it, guys. They're available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNobles.com. Or just to see what your ladies are up to, you can find all of that out on www.andwethought.com. So peace and love from Winona and Jade and our books. <laughs> Girl, you know, so silly. silly. You silly. Remember Did you write that? That's funny. <laughs> Remember to visit us at andwethought.com. The year, 1888. The place, London's East End. Dead and mutilated bodies are popping up all over, from Stamford to Whitechapel. Jack the Ripper is leaving his mark, and the city's on edge. Yvonne Mason is back with a tale of murder and millinery. The Rhodes Hat Factory is booming while the body count rises. Why now? How are these hats connected? Has the Hatter gone mad? Mad Hatter from Yvonne Mason. Available now on Amazon.com. And we are back. This is your host, Yvonne Mason. The show is off the chain, and I have two of my tribe and wonderful friends, author and entrepreneur Ronnie Allen and the music god Christopher Plain with Six Ways to Sunday, and they are helping a girl out tonight. Guys, y'all don't know how much I appreciate y'all. From the bottom of my heart. And we appreciate you, believe me, from the bottom of my heart, too. I mean, just think about it. Where else can you go? And I don't know any other business that one can go in corporate America. And tell me if I'm wrong, because y'all have been out there like I have, and get this kind of support, this kind of I've got your back, and this kind of we'll get through this together. Most of the time, it's cutthroat. Let me see how I can stab you, talk about you, and ruin you so I can step over you to get to the top. Would that be a fair statement, Chris? Pretty much. I mean, the music business definitely is <laughs> pretty much <laughs> like that. So, yeah. What's your take, Miss Ronnie? Well, I'm coming from, it's not really corporate America. I was teaching in New York City for 33 years, and I love my school. I love my colleagues, and I'm still very friendly with a lot of them um, from Brooklyn which is so awesome. We talk all the time on Facebook. And going through that, it's much more regimented. You know, you're at the mercy of the standards of the curriculum, and it's very different when you're in a situation where you can work from home and you make your own connections and you're your own boss. It's very different. And there's something going around. um, We see it all the time on Facebook. Take care of yourself because your job will replace you in five minutes. Yep, it will. You know, and in the teaching profession in New York, there were long lists of teachers waiting to get a position. So if a teacher was out, the next day someone's in their place. So you really have to take care of yourself. But there's a big difference between working a nine-to-five and working for yourself. And and the beauty of working for yourself, and, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but the beauty of working for yourself other than it's sometimes long hours is you get to see the the flowers blooming. You get to see the product of your efforts come to mm-hmm. life and you get to see the workings with other people and the networking and the well if this doesn't work I can I can make it go away and do something else. I don't have to wait on somebody to tell me what to do. Exactly. And it is your effort. And it's your effort for you. So why not be your own boss? And that's I why agree. I'm such I'm such a big proponent of women becoming entrepreneurs. Because for one In today's families, you need more than one income. You need more than two incomes. So what's wrong with having a residual income where you know you're making money in your sleep? And and another thing that um, one of the articles that I wrote is understand your dream. 
Now, Chris, you and I have talked about this many, many times. And it's when we dream, when we have all these dreams, sometimes we don't understand what we're dreaming, what it is we really want. We just know we want something out there. And the key to making that dream real, other than having your tribe, picking your teammates, is to understand that dream. Understand what it is that you want and how you want to go about it. Chris, would that be a fair statement? Yeah, for sure. When you were, because I've I've seen you grow through the years with, with your show. I've seen the stumblings, I've seen you fall, I've seen you almost give up, and I wanted to kick your ass and, and did mentally. <laughs> <laughs> because failure is never an option in this tribe. We don't exactly. fail. We just pick up ourselves, put on our big girl and boy panties and move on. But you've always known that you loved music. You always have known that you wanted to share that love, that knowledge, that wisdom of music with others. You found a way to do it, albeit not always being easy, correct? Yeah, music's been literally what saved my life so many times. I mean, through the hardships and the dark times and all the stuff I've gone through in my life, you know, music has been the one thing that has always been there to kind of keep me off the the ledge, so to speak, and and uh, bring me back to saying it's okay. And you know, there's always a song for every there's a song for every situation, you know. So. And would it be fair to say that? the same with Ronnie writing, because if Ronnie's like me, if she doesn't write, she goes insane, that if you can't play that music, if you can't share that music, share those emotions, share those feelings, share the stories that are within the music, that it it, it drives you nuts. You, it, it, it's, a, it's like knowledge. When we acquire knowledge, it doesn't do us any good for long because we know it. It is only when we share it and it becomes wisdom that it becomes priceless. The same thing with you and music. When you share that music with others, when you tell the story behind the song, when you have the interviews, there's a fulfillment there that might not be there if you didn't do that, right? Yeah. I mean, and that, and I just, I love helping the artists. You know, I love hearing their stories. I love, you know, I love talking to people like Matt and Jimmy Parsons and getting to hear what drove them to create these songs and what, you know, stories they tell from their life where maybe you relate to it, you know, that maybe they had somebody die and you can understand, you know, they had a child die um, or they had uh, a, a fiance die or a brother die and, and you've dealt with that in your life, and you can relate to it, you know, and it, and it makes that song that much more personal uh, to you as a person because now you understand, okay, wow, now now I understand why I like that song so much, why I related to that song, um, you know, why because I... It's, it's become three-dimensional. It's like a... a... A, a very well written story that draws you in, yeah. that draws the reader into the story. That song then becomes three dimensional because the listener has stepped into that song and and gets an understanding of that song that it's more than just words put to music. Yeah, very much so. I mean, think of all the great, great songs of the country genre. You know, I mean, we'll just keep it in country. You know, when you, when you think of all of the great country songs like The Gambler and, and um, Lefty and Poncho and um, All My Rowdy Friends and stuff like that, you know, you can relate to those songs because everybody knows a crazy uncle or a crazy friend or you know, they sat in the living room as a kid and heard your dad's friends telling stories of their life working construction or being a truck driver or, or whatever it is. And, and you can relate those stories to people in your life. And they're endearing and they're, you know, there's a, there's a warmth and a personality to those songs that 
again, you know, you, you relate to your own life and your own upbringing, your own personal. So, yeah. uh, okay, Ronnie, on that same vein, mm-hmm. what songs in your life have held a special meaning, like Chris and I have been talking about? What whether it was highs or lows or, or whatever, there's always one or two special songs that you you carry with like a suitcase from the time you hear it until the time you're no longer around. That song is one of those songs that's always with you. What are a couple of the songs that you've carried with you? I don't really know offhand. I know I fell in love with the fight song. And because I can hear all the struggles and the perseverance and all of that, but honestly, others I can't think of off the top of my head. I know, I kind of put you on the spot. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Because it's it's so interesting when I'm, there are so many people who need music while they write. Uh But for me, when I'm writing, I can block out kids playing that Marco Polo game in the pool. I can block out adults next to me. But when I hear music, I get so involved in the music that it throws me off my writing. So I'm one of those people that can't do music and writing. Because when I'm listening to songs, I'm always identifying And it does release, as you said, on the emotional level. And that's why people relate so well, because we've all had traumas. Uh So when we hear other people going through the traumas in the songs, it makes us feel not alone. And that is a very good point, because there there are songs that I have carried with me um, and songs that I have acquired just in the last three years that when I hear them, they still hit that trigger. So a couple of Brantley Gilbert songs, when I hear those songs, because they were my granddaughter's favorite, he's my grand, he was my granddaughter's favorite artist. Mm-hmm. When I hear him sing those songs, it, it triggers the memory of her. Yes. And while it's sad, it also makes me grateful that he, the last picture that I have of her was a picture with Brantley Gilbert Mm. in Walmart and it was on one of her worst days because she was uh, covered in eczema and psoriasis and and, um, dermatitis and she felt ugly because she'd been Mm. bullied in school and that day he changed her life forever so from that day until the day she died I thank Brantley Gilbert for what he did for my granddaughter. I understand that. He held her and he hugged her and he told her how beautiful she was. And that meant everything. Everything. From then on, the girl knew she was beautiful, but it took someone of his stature and his... Um, reputation, even though he's a local boy where they live up there in Jackson County, it took even though we've told her that since day one it took her idol to tell her that she was beautiful on one of the worst days of her life for her to understand Mm -hmm. that she was beautiful and ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something never believe that you're not beautiful right guys? oh, absolutely you look in the mirror and you say, I am beautiful and I am lovable. And I am enough. Yes. Because you are. So, y'all are not going to believe this, but our hour is almost up. Goes fast. It does. Chris, tell everybody where you can be found. Uh, the show can be found in multiple places. The easiest place, uh, if you listen from your computer, uh, you go online and you go to firebrandradio.online. Um, if you're a user of, if you like prefer listening on your phone or your tablet, uh, there is an app that's free. It's called TuneIn. 
uh, T-U-N-E-I-N, and you download that, and you just download or you just type in Firebrand Radio after that, and it'll pop up. Um, pretty much all of the, pretty much any of the sites that have access to that kind of stuff, online radio stuff, uh, you can type in Firebrand, but the two easiest are uh, directly on the website and with TuneIn. Uh, for sure, I know those work. And uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I start. I go till 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and uh, we laugh and joke and have a good time. And uh, you can go to my Facebook. I'm normally chatting with everyone during those two hours. So if you want to, you know, compliment the songs or tell me how much you hate the songs or just tell me I'm <laughs> – Full of crap. Uh, you can't do that. <laughs> and Miss, and Miss Ronnie, tell the folks where you can be found, my beautiful friend. Thank you. Um, on Facebook, if you want information about my novels, it's at Ronnie A. Novelist on your Facebook URL. If you want information with health and wellness about what we were talking about, in your URL, Center for Health and empowerment and again for our Angela James workshop sunshine state romance authors.com and on Facebook sunshine state authors sunshine state romance authors and and ladies and gentlemen if you don't believe in the power of a tribe trust me it absolutely works I would be absolutely lost without my tribe, Chris and Ronnie and Sherry Rensler and Julie Morgan and Taylor Dawn and Jennifer Chase and Yvette Bricato and Amy Debo and oh, I could go on and on and on and on. Stephanie Osborne, these are the people that keep me sustained. These are the people that have my back. And I love each and every one of them. Just like tonight, I put out the call. Look what happened. These Get you a tribe, ladies and gentlemen, because everybody needs a tribe. Everybody needs somebody that they can lean on. And with that being said, I want to thank both of you so, so much. And Julie thank Morgan, you. I want to thank you for last night. Blog Talk Radio had a brain fart. And kill the show, and I'm still pissed off about that, but it's okay. We'll re- we'll revisit it again. And <laughs> <laughs> Chris knows me. I ain't through with those people yet. They're gonna give me some money back. But anyway, that being said, I want to thank both of y'all. I'm going to change the body of the show and and the the hyperlink to open mic night and put both of y'all's bios in there. And ladies and gentlemen, y'all all know it's that I say this is the end of every show. People will forget your name. They will forget what you look like, but they will never, ever, ever forget how you make them feel. This show is two years old because of all of y'all. And understand that every one of you are special to me, guest and listener alike. 200 countries, 200,000 plus listeners. We're on half a dozen to 12 different podcasts, including Heart Radio. Reverb Nation, Spotify, FM.com, TuneIn Radio, um, Spreaker, SoundCloud, MixCloud, Podcast.com, Podcast Garden, iTunes, YouTube, and several other places that I don't put it up. Somebody else does. So y'all are the reason this show is successful, and I'm very, very grateful for it. I'm grateful for my tribe. I love my tribe. They are successful, and it makes me very, very, very happy. Thank my guest, the music god, Christopher Plain, and author and wellness entrepreneur, Miss Ronnie Allen, for stepping in tonight and getting my butt out of a sling, because it's no fun when I talk to myself. And we will start (laughs) over (laughs) next Wednesday night at 8 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. And if people don't show up, I know Chris will come back, and I'm sure Ronnie will, too. All I have to do is put the call out there. Just put the call out. Absolutely. There you go. Yeah. So, lady, so ladies and gentlemen, until next Wednesday night at eight o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. This is your host Yvonne Mason with Off the Chain and my guest author Ronnie Allen and the music guide Christopher Plain. Check out Six Ways to Sunday.
tomorrow from 11 to 1. And we will see you then on Wednesday night. Bye, everyone. Good night. You guys are the best. Thank you so, so much. Oh, you are so welcome. Thank you so much. Stepping in and getting my butt. And and my sound, I finally got my soundboard up and working. That makes me very happy. Now my arm Yes, it went flawlessly. It did. I am impressed with myself. I scare myself sometimes. Good for you. (laughs) But I am going to um, let you all go and and thank you for spending this hour with me and, and getting the fat out of the fire. And I'll change all of this. And then I'll put the link up and tag y'all in it and spread it everywhere. And then tomorrow I'll put it up on all the other podcasts. And, Chris, anytime you want to put that show, either one of your shows, up on um, off the chain, just send me the MP3 and I'll put it up. And then I can put it on Reverb Nation, too. All right. Um, I'll send you the link here in a minute. I'm, I'm posting all the stuff for the show tomorrow, so you can share okay. that where people can okay. hear it and all of that. But, um, yeah. Once I'm situated yeah. and all of that in the new house and all that, we'll we'll talk more about. Uh, yeah, because I ha- I have a proposition for you that you can't turn down. Um, that's normally <laughs> that's normally been the case. So. <laughs> And with that, I'm going to tell y'all good night and thank y'all so much one more time. Thanks. It was a pleasure meeting you, Chris. You too. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Right. Good night. Good Bye-bye. Night. Bye-bye. 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 reached the high fashion hotline help the first day of school's right around the corner and i don't have enough time to get all my shopping done leave it to old navy old navy yep now you can make back to school shopping easy with buy online pick up in store it's fun fast and free wow free pick up in store that's a serious time saver and here's a serious money saver right now the latest kids styles start at five bucks with kids jeans from 10 bucks and tees from just six bucks kids styles from just five bucks what are we waiting for old navy here we come high fashion old navy about 720 to 729 select styles only